Hey guys, what's going on? If you don't know me, my name is uh, Peter Vlurag. I am uh, primarily a photographer, but I've been doing a bit of videography, cinematography in the past uh, few months as well. So I'm trying to improve in that area as well. Um, what we're going to talk about today is I've been noticing on myself in the past two or three weeks that I've been completely, absolutely, totally absorbed by social media. Whenever I go out and shoot, I come home, I edit it on my computer, I immediately upload it onto my uh, Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter, you know, the drill everywhere. And then I just keep looking at the interactions, uh, how much uh, interaction I receive for a certain shot or uh, how many likes I've got, how many comments I've got. And this has just taken over uh, my life. I'm spending half a day at least 10 12 hours on my laptop or uh, not my laptop uh, on my tablet just looking at my instagram feed uh, at other photographers uh, or people that i follow their feeds and just constantly uh, checking what's going on and it has taken over my life i don't know it's it's just it's too obsessive and uh, i have kind of an ocd personality so it definitely has affected me, <laughs> if you know uh, what I mean. Um, what I've been uh, noticing on myself that I uh, this kind of a doubt started to creep into my head that oh maybe I'm not good enough just because I don't have a a large uh, social media following. Um, I only have four hundred or something, yeah, four hundred plus on my Facebook and around the same figure on. Uh, uh, actually, I have two Instagram accounts, so around 400, 600 on the other uh, followers on my Instagram accounts. Um, uh, and uh, that should not define uh, my ability, really. Because I started looking at myself uh, as, oh, maybe I'm not good enough or uh, I'm just not doing it the right way or whatever. But at the end of the day, if I love what I'm doing, and if I shoot what I love shooting, that's the only th thing that should really matter. Uh, so, uh, so if you feel the exact same uh, way like I did in the, the past uh, two or three weeks, you feel anxiety, you feel uh, frustration and uh, just you feel like you're not getting uh, enough exposure uh, that you deserve there isn't uh, such a thing as somebody deserves it or the other doesn't so but if you feel like that you just gotta take a, a step back and uh, reassess the whole thing because youtube instagram and twitter and facebook shouldn't be the end of it all it, it should be just a tool that you can use to build your business your profile and interact with like-minded people but if you are completely absorbed by it, like I have been the past two or three weeks, then it's just, it's not gonna uh, do any good to you or your photography. Uh, it's also taking away uh, from the time that I should be spending uh, outside shooting, you know? So, uh, it has to end. I definitely have to cut back on how much I, uh, how much time I spend on social media because uh, it's just, the way it's built right now, it's too competitive and uh, I think it's saturated with shit and garbage. And a lot of people who are, um, or artists, who have amassed crazy amount of uh, followers, hundreds of thousands or mi even millions, and they produce just recycled shit, really. Um, so excuse my language, but just recycle the same thing over and over. they copying each other. They can't come up with anything... Uh, uh, individual or anything creative they're not producing or creating anything original really and they're still getting so much exposure and they're getting money out of it as well and um, yeah well good for them but you should not really care about it you should find that inner peace that uh, inner joy that you you felt when you first picked up the camera that's what you have to focus on and also I I just gotta keep reminding myself that I am uh, so privileged and so fortunate that I can do what I love, what I truly love every single day. 
this is the single most important uh, thing uh, that we should pay attention to that um, you just gotta find that true love or find yourself again if you've lost yourself in this social media uh, whirlpool or twister kind of because you just get these inputs left right and center and you see amazing photos crazy photos but you don't uh, necessarily realize that one they might have been shooting for x amount of years much longer than you or they have connections they have models they have all the gear uh, they have the money to go to those amazing locations that you don't have access to but i truly believe that you can still create amazing stuff even in your very own backyard you just gotta put your mind to it and you gotta see differently um so i gotta keep more eye contact with the camera i, I have to I have to do a better job uh, with that because I keep looking around. So uh, sorry about that, but I'm I'm getting better. I think. Um, what else did I want to talk about? I just want to sum it up. So if you feel anxiety, and if you feel frustrated, if you feel like you are inferior to your competition, which is essentially everybody else on Instagram, um, when you are a photographer, then don't be like that don't feel like that don't feel the pressure it's it's not a race and it's definitely not a hundred meter race it's a it's a marathon and, and that marathon should be just a marathon against yourself you need to uh, focus on your own abilities and how to improve the, uh, your abilities your skills constantly uh, push yourself and um, I think I, I truly believe if you do that on an everyday basis if you if you just keep doing that and you have uh, you pay uh, most of your attention to that single aspect of uh, doing your business then you're gonna succeed it's I think it's inevitable so don't uh, don't feel then don't feel depressed uh, just shut this whole BS uh, out and use Instagram Facebook and Twitter to interact with people but don't let it take over your life and just keep shooting i think uh, we should finish uh, this uh, little video here um, i hope you guys um, enjoyed it uh, and got something out of it if you uh, like this content then please support me because i need a million followers obviously so if you if you did uh, like it then hit subscribe please and uh, the like button and uh, see you guys next time peace